Welcome. Welcome to the farm. Uh, so this is uh, about the end of day three. Um, again, this is going up into settlement zone one that needs a name. And for reference, we have the silo. Again, this is a section at the top, the highest point in the property that also is in the southwest corner. Um, so yesterday, I uh, was, we continued work on the garden and you can see we were able to lay down cardboard for most of this area um, and then I just covered it in leaf litter. Uh, we're trying to use what we have here on the property. Um, so far the only cost to this besides my labor and some coffee grounds uh, are uh, some 2x2 two two stakes. Everything else so far we've had available on the farm and of course uh, we've already had a lot of the tools, the rakes and such and the nice little uh, wheelbarrow over there and of course the trash can. Um, I'm trying to get uh, several inches of leaf litter on top of this. First thing that we did was lay down uh, sticks from our brush pile. You can see uh, when we come in here, we do have some glacial erratics laying around. And so we got a nice stone right here that hopefully you can plant some nice herbs around. Got a little area over here on the north side that uh, I kind of dug out a hole. We're hoping to put a little uh, pond in right there uh, and bring in some more rocks. And then over here is the nice little the public area. It's going to be uh, basically the public area. Yeah, place to have a picnic. Uh, yesterday I built a little, little tiny uh, rocket stove that we have here. Um, thank you YouTube for giving the instructions on that. Now to take you over to the, area, the other areas that we're working on. Again we uh, are trying to pull materials from this section so my next project if I get the time to do which I, I doubt I'll get to do it, get to it before spring, but we'll be clearing out this section, sorting the lumber, and uh, piling up all the grapevines for future mulch. Um, I'll also probably start putting some borders uh, around the garden area to kind of just uh, uh, let people know that here's a spot. Um, as you can see, we're creating some nice pathways through the property. Um, this is a mulch pile. We pulled uh, about half the leaf litter on top of that, pulled it off. And then I decided to come over here and pull a lot of the leaves that have fallen down on here. We're hoping that this will be a a great place for education um, maybe for pitching a tent it is on a slope and on concrete but um, those just hopefully this will be a nice public area I raked a lot of the leaves off um, put it in the piles and put it in the trash can and carried it on over so I'm cleaning up this area while using the waste and uh, to build up another section Another interesting thing that, uh, so apparently nature, anything that falls on this cement, thank you nature, uh, she is turning into soil. So I've just uh, carefully raked um, up a lot of the leaf litter and kind of spread it out around the edges so that hopefully I can have some usable topsoil next spring to put on top of the garden. Um, and uh, see, here's one of my leaf piles but you can see this is a nice little area this area over here is wrought with poison ivy um, the question is how can we use poison ivy oops and not trip over logs that are sitting around question is how can we use poison ivy and make it our friend 
or perhaps find some way to replace the poison ivy. But many poison ivy vines over here. Um, I heard that goats don't mind eating poison ivy. So we'll do a little bit more research on that. But eventually all this area is going to have to be cleared out. Most of the poison ivy will be removed. Um, and it will open up this section quite a bit. But in the other areas around the border where there's plenty of poison ivy, um, you know, we're going to have to find a way to either um, to either find something that will outcompete the poison ivy or just find some way to keep it trimmed back and keep it from spreading. Um, nothing against poison ivy, but we know it follows humans wherever we go. Thank you, humans. Um, so, where possible, we'll try to keep it, pull it back, where, but we don't want kids running around here uh, or people inadvertently getting poison ivy. Um, so, and again, here's the uh, Here's a little shack that hopefully one day we'll have a nice outdoor kitchen built off the back of that and maybe an apothecary inside. Um, so, thank you for your time and have a good day.